Hello fashion enthusiasts and welcome to TF Designs and today we'll be talking on how you can draft a basic pattern set. Now this video is in five parts and this is the first part where we talk on how you can draft the front bodies. Now to get started you are going to be determining the amount of pattern paper you are going to need to minimize wastage now this is determined by your bust circumference which is 36 inches and the other measurement i'll be using for this tutorial if you don't know how to take body measurements you can easily do this using the link in the description box box where i talked about how to take accurate measurement for ladies so now my bust divided by four is nine inches as you can see 36 inches i have here as my bust circumference divided by four inches that is nine inches so that means i need to have at least nine inches unfold in my pattern paper to be able to draw my front pattern but that's not just it i'm going to be adding one inch for my dart to my nine inches that gives me 10 inches and i'm just going to add like two inches just um in case of um seam allowance so I have a total of 12 inches so this is just a guide for you to know how to manage your pattern paper <laughs> if there's anything like that of course to minimize wastage and to save more money so yeah i'm just trying to fold my pattern paper based on the 12 inches i've calculated and just look at the way i'm folding my pattern paper because i'm going to be cutting my front and my back bodice on this particular pattern paper now after folding that 12 inches so this is what i have you can see this crease line in the middle this is going to be my guide so i'm just going to highlight that crease line with my marker and my straight ruler the straight side of my pattern master rather and this is just going to be my starting point just to demarcate my front pattern and my back pattern at this point i took the wrong marker so i'm just going to have to quickly change this so that what i'm doing would be visible to everybody okay now we are getting started having determined my front and back pattern i'm going to be using the right hand side for the front pattern okay this is going to be my front pattern i forgot to label that but i'm still going to do that and i'm just going to take one inches from the upper part to be able to determine my starting point so it's very important to always leave at least one inches on the upper part for your shoulder seams and you know it's really important so yeah i have this particular line that i've drawn out it's going to be my shoulder line and this is where i'm going to be putting my across back measurement or my shoulder measurement which is shoulder length some people call it shoulder length across back shoulder to shoulder whatever so now this is my center front that means that is going to be the middle of my you know my pattern it should be on fold so I'm just inserting my vertical measurement here, my shoulder to nipple 10.5, my shoulder to underbust 13.5, and my shoulder to waist 15.5. And I repeated this at the other side just for me to have accuracy. As you can see, these dotted lines. So this is just me trying to connect the lines together to be able to have straight lines. It's really important to have a ruler, please so that you are going to be sure of what you are doing so now this adjusts my vertical measurement i've been able to use them to create lines to guide me in drafting those front pattern properly so this is my bust line as you can see i'm labeling my under bust line i also have my waist line and if you notice i've not added any seam allowance i'll still do that later but not right now now the next thing i want to do is to insert my chest line and this is determined by my armhole measurements now i'm going to be dividing my armhole measurements mine is 15 inches divided by 2 that's 7.5 and i'm just from the shoulder line going to take that 7.5 downward this is going to be my chest line so 
this chest line is going to guide my curve for my armhole so this is really important fam so now after having my chest line the next thing i want to do is to insert my across shoulder measurement which is 14 inches divided by two this gives me seven inches and as you can see i'm just going ahead to mark out that seven inches using the dots on the shoulder line then I also mark that that seven inches on the chest line because i want to have something straight and accurate when drafting my armhole so yeah i'm just using my ruler to connect from my shoulder line down to my chest line so at this point now what i'm trying to do next is to just insert my neckline and i'm using a neck width of three inches standard if you're a plus size you could do 3.5 if you are a very you know petite self person you could do 2.5 but three inches is fine by me and the neck depth of four inches depending on the project you want to work on you could use any neck depth of your choice it's totally up to you so i'm just covering my neckline with my pattern master this pattern master is really versatile firm i suggest you get one okay so at this point now i'm trying to create my shoulder slope you know the shoulder is not straight so i'm coming down from the shoulder that i'm whole line by one inch downward and from there i connected it to my neckline to be able to form my shoulder slope this will ensure my outfit fits well on the shoulder region because of course it's not straight the next thing is to determine the remaining measurement you have there mine is 6.5 then i divided it by two to get the middle point just fold your tape into two mark that middle point and for the front arm hole you are going to be going in by 0 0.5 0 0.75 rather that is like three quarter is 0 0.75 inches this is to enable your sleeve sit well and for you to have freedom whenever you know you are putting on a clothes with a sleeve so now on the chest line i marked my bust circumference which is the six divided by four that gives me nine and from that nine i'm just using my pattern master to create my armhole curve that nine inches with the 0 0.75 inches on the armhole line down to the shoulder line as you can see i've been able to create my armhole curve all right now the next thing i want to do now is to go through with my bust span measurement divided by two that gives me 3.5 and i'm using this to determine where my dots is going to be located so i'm going to take 3.5 on the waist line the under bust line and also the bust line as you can see so now this line is going to guide my that but then from the bust line you have to come down by one inches because your dust shouldn't start from your bust exactly so now from this particular that line i'm going to be going on either side on the waist by 0 0.5 inches now this is just how to create a waist that and this is the most easiest that you know at least it just help your outfits look fitted and it's really important to use that when you so depending on the projects you are working on so now i have my waist that already i'm just going in to insert my waist circumference which is 28 divided by 4 that gives me 7 inches plus the 1 inch for the dash remember 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 that gives me 8 inches so i've marked my 8 inches and yeah i'm connecting it to my 9 inches bust circumference which is on my chest line so our, form, our pattern is taking shape already the next thing i want to do now is just to you know create a shoulder that now what you're going to do is to go to the shoulder slope and determine the length of that shoulder slope so mine is four inches and i'm going to divide that four inches into two that gives me two inches so from that two inches i'm just going to come straight down to the bust line to be able to create my shoulder that as you can see so i'm just trying to straighten my ruler and yes okay this is my shoulder that so from there i'm just trying to connect the line 
I'll stick off this later, but for now, let's just go with the straight lines. So that's my shoulder dart. I'll do the labeling later. Another dart that is really important for feet, if you look at my shoulder to waist, I have two measurements for the front and that of the back. Now, if you watch my previous video, you will understand this properly. So now, what I'm going to do is that 15.5 for the front minus 13.5 for the back waist length. I'm left with 2 inches. So this is what determines my bust that so two inches up from my bust line i come down by two inches and i connected that part to my bust line to be able to create my bust that now it's really important for you to know that we have different type of that and they have different function but a single goal to ensure that outfit fits properly okay so now that's my bust that and this is my shoulder that so basically this is just how to draft a front but that is we are not true yet but i'll be stopping here for today in my next video you are going to see how i draft the back part